just having a little chat with the ground staff here, and it is a really impressive uh, venue you've got here at, uh, at Burnley. If we just go, have a walk down, we can see all the different workers doing all the different bits. It's robots as well yeah, doing the, no, no, do it working on this pitch. me, the old robots are cutting the grass. I'm sometimes in my office late at night and I see these little robots roaming around. Them. But look, it's a, it's a really good facility, and good pitches in terms of a, a really functional, functional place as well. So, you know, in terms of helping us develop and, and moving forward, it's, um, it's first class for us, really. And as far as the, the squad you've got, of course, Burnley relegated last season. Um, I think it's 40 players or so you've got on the books. It's quite a lot you're having to manage here. Yeah, there is. There's, a, there's obviously a lot, lot of players here at, at this present moment in time. Obviously, that brings us challenges for sure. But at, at this moment, the first thing and, you know, what I've done c coming in is is making sure that we, we, we manage that situation. And, and of course, everyone gets an opportunity to, to one, impress me and, and, and give themselves a fighting chance to, to be selectable and in this team, really. So um, what, what comes of it at the, at the end of the transfer window, we, we will see. But for now, it's everyone's foot to the floor, really, in trying to, trying to get in the team and, and, and us to do well. Yeah, you, you've not had too long to, to come in here and, and impart whatever philosophy you'd like to. It's about four weeks or so, isn't it? So what have you managed to achieve in that time? Yeah, it's, it's obviously been a, it's, it's been a real short space of time. I think, first and foremost, you... You're coming into a football club that obviously last year was was obviously disappointing a, a, a group and a, a group of players that that obviously didn't win too many. I was in that same position. That's no um, that's no slight on anyone because I've been in that position as well as a as a team that got promoted and the disappointments what what come from that. The most important thing is this year, or certainly at the start for me, is is, is trying to build a. Build a mentality for us to become a winning machine, um, and they're the challenge that, that we face. And trying to get to know everyone, no players individually, no staff, and um, set, set, set the stall out really for what we're going to need to be this year to be successful. You've been promoted twice from the Championship, once with Fulham and then with Bournemouth. What does it take to get promoted from the Championship? Because Burnley are one of the favourites, but that's you know, by the by, as, you know, as far as reputations, a lot of the players that have, have, been, have done what they've done before. Well, I think we've seen that. We've seen that in the past, haven't you? I, you know, I, I always say there's no no name on a paper, however talented you are, gets you solely out of this division. While, of course, it helps, and in certain games can be the difference maker in terms of the, the certain individual talent you have. This is a tough, tough league, and you you need to have a core value and you need to stand for something as a team and as individuals that get you out of this division, really. It's a highly competitive division. I think, you know, when I've looked at it in the past, I think it's probably 30% in terms of teams that have been relegated get promoted instantly out of this out of this league. So, of course, there's challenges while one thinks that uh, the squad or teams coming down, of course, they, they're probably in a better position. Um, there's some real key fundamentals you need to get right for to make sure that happens, really. Uh, and... For you then, what does that Scott Parker team look like? What do you want to see from these players? You know, you talked about we, we've heard a lot about style and and you know from all across the game. But what what would you want these players to be doing? Well, I think first and foremost, you know, I played the game for 20 years and I stood for something which uh, made me successful really, and that stood me in good stead as well in terms of developing two other teams that have got out of this division, and that comes from. A real understanding of what we need to bring this year. So while there's, of course, a, a lot of tactical work and there's a clear way in what we want to play, fundamentally, w w without something that you don't stand for as a team, then it's always going to be a challenge, really. So that's the main. That's the main thing. I think, as always, you'll see. You'll see. Hopefully, see a team that represent. You know, myself, themselves, the fan base here, in terms of a hard-working team. When they cross that line, there's. N it's a, it's a non-negotiable in terms of, of what they give this, this club, really. And for you personally, I mean, I think it's fair to say what happened at Bournemouth and the, the fixture list wasn't particularly kind to you. You've gone to Bruges as well and had an experience yeah. there. And I know you've said it in particularly wasn't positive for you, but have you got a, a point to prove as well here? Always got a point to prove, really. And the challenges of uh, football management and the volatility of it, of course, there is. But, you know, it took a took some time out now. It's been a year since I've, I've been back into it. 
I've, I've loved every bit of it being back on the grass and, and, and trying to develop people and, and trying to get to know people. I'm, and I'm extremely looking forward to the challenge, what, what faces us this year, faces me, faces the players and, and everyone at the football club and there will be, will be that. But um, like I said, hopefully I can bring all my experiences, what I've had from Fulham, Bournemouth and even probably the negative experiences I've had at, at other clubs as well, really. So, um, yeah, all guns to... We're looking forward to a big season this year. And you mentioned what you brought as a player. Of course, we saw you all action in an England shirt as well. We've just heard the news about Lee Carsley's appointment uh, to the England role. I don't know if you've had much dealings with him, maybe as a player as well, but he's got a good reputation. What did you make of that yeah, appointment? I've not, I've not obviously come across Lee uh, too much personally, but has been in the system now, done an incredible job with the 21s as well. Um, and obviously the guys at, at the FA want that continuity, really, I, I, I suppose. So nothing but all the best for Lee in terms of, you know, he, he comes into something with Gareth Leaving, who's done an incredible job and has left that, left us in a, in a, in a real a real strong position as a as a football nation and certainly as a country, brought, brought everyone together, really, including the squad. So I wish Lee all the very best, really.